Hi everybody, this is Rick here and welcome to Digital Fortress. I'm going to do a Cardano Reddit re recap, top 10 for the week. I plan to do one of these each week because there's so much information updating in the Cardano space. By going to Reddit and sorting by the top 10 for each week, I can summarize the top 10 items that show up on Reddit, which should cover a significant amount of Cardano news. I'm not going to go into great detail, I'm just going to give you a summary and try to get it done in about 10 minutes or less so you have an idea of what's going on around the Cardano world. Feel free to leave me some feedback in the comments down below to help me improve the Cardano Top 10 Reddit recap for the week. Let me know what you think. So I'm going to switch over to Reddit here. And on Reddit, I have sorted by top and past week right here so that you can see, you can follow along if you want to pull it up online with yourself as well. And our first post in the top 10 recap is a recent video from Charles. The most important part that came out in this video, it's a brief update on Cardano, is right at the beginning, he talks about, he got, he has demos. And what IOHK is doing now is they're giving demos from the development teams to Charles and David Esser to show the product progress. The most important part that I, that I particularly caught on in this video is that they got a demonstration showing the network and the consensus protocols in a test environment. This is not on testnet. This has not been released on Jormungandr. These are simply internal demos only. But the fact that they are able to test those in internal testing demos, I find that a very positive sign or a good indication that we will see Shelley by December. That's number one of our top 10 Reddit recap. Going, Moving on to number two, we have a post from CryptoVisor. And CryptoVisor made three of the top 10 posts. So good job, CryptoVisor. And what he has uh, these tangent cards. And he asked, should I do a giveaway on my YouTube? I certainly think he should. I think giving away tangent cards is a great way to uh, promote your channel and people love them. And he's got well over 5,000 subscribers over there on his channel. As a matter of fact, two of the top 10 here, well, three are from CryptoVisor and the other two are CryptoVisor videos. So you might want to check out CryptoVisor's channel over on YouTube. Going on to number three of the top 10, we have a post. This is CryptoVisor's first video showing up on the top 10, where he discusses preparing for inst institutional investments with new partnerships, where CryptoVisor goes over articles from Tron Weekly, discussing the partnerships that are involved with, uh, that Cardano's getting involved here with and uh, greater detail there. It goes into a little bit of um, financial type information, but it's not financial advice. And just a reminder on my channel, I never give financial advice. Next in our top 10 is an ad. I'm going to skip that. Actually, I'm going to go on to this article that is from Emergo, which takes a deeper look into the futures of staking in Cardano. This was posted by user Zach Salio. And this article, I'm going to expand it on it a little bit. But it goes into Emergo's description of a deeper look into the features of staking in Cardano. And in this article, there's a graphic given here by Professor Agalos Kiaias that demonstrates with Bitcoin miners and individual miners joining pools, shown on the left, they've run models that demonstrate over time that eventually all of the miners will condense into pools, which all the pools will condense into one final pool over here on the right hand side of the graph. As you can see in the image over time in the simulation, the number of pools converge into a single pool. So interesting information there. And if you want more info, you can continue reading the article on Emergo's blog. So heading back over to Reddit, moving on to number five for the week, and this is uh, July 20th, so I'm going to be updating it by week. Number five here, Charles comes out of Twitter retirement briefly to bring you a good paper to read. Orbors Kronos, permissionless clock synchronization via proof of stake. So a little background, Charles went into Twitter and Facebook retirement because he's on vacation. And he posted this ePrint.org article that goes on to describe protocol level information about Orbors Kronos, which describes time synchronization. It describes how... Uh, Time can be passed over the blockchain to help multiple nodes that are joining and leaving the network to have the same uh, time information so that they can synchronize properly. I'm going to drill into this article for a moment. 
There's a really uh, great summary here done by Damon in the Sea, where Damon wrote a e- ELI 5, explain like I'm 5, for anyone who's interested, and he breaks down the Ouroboros Kronos paper into more simple terms and kind of takes some of the math out of the process. So thank you for that, Damon. And anyone who's interested, check out Damon's read here and the ePrint article on the protocol. And we have two protocol level papers come up. Continuing down the list, next person asks, what is the best way to grab a shovel, as Charles put it? And this came from Reddit user The For Reals. And looking further into it, the person says, I would like to help decentralize by taking some responsibility for the project. I know a little about, a little about programming and generally understand blockchains but I'm not sure I'm capable of making an app. What are some other, maybe easier ways to help? Well, that's outstanding because I'm in a similar way. I know a little bit about how computers work, a little bit about scripting, and that's about it. You know, can't write an app. But how you can help this grab a shovel idea is passing information along to others, teaching people how blockchain and crypto works, just simply talking about it with others and passing information along on social media or person to person That's part of grabbing a shovel, making YouTube videos, and so on. A good example is in the previous post where Damon wrote the ELI-5. That's just all part of grabbing a shovel. It's very nice of you to ask this, the for reals, because other people can read this post and learn from it. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Lots of good information here. But you have pants your line describes, I translate your row into French. Another form of grabbing a shovel. So for anyone who's reading this Reddit post, What you can do is go to the forum.cardano.org and check out the ambassador program. There's many ambassador roles, which are the work and the grab a shovel that the Cardano ecosystem needs done. And that's one way you can get involved or check out these Reddit threads where a lot of community members and Reddit members have information on how you can help. Here, Adazin goes on to describe operating a relay node and gives a link to a website where he provides more information there as well. Great way to grab a shovel. Good job, guys. Now I'm going to drop back over to the main Reddit post threads for our top 10. Moving on to number seven, we have Charles out of office, tending to a different stream. And he has a brief statement about social media and my health. If you select that, that takes you to his YouTube video where he gives a description of why he's taking a break from social media. It's because he is on vacation. And he also has to give a description of his health because you know how people are. As soon as he took a break from social media, they immediately started worrying that there's something wrong with his health because he's lost a lot of weight. He is fine. And he goes on to describe in this video. For more information, check out Charles Hoskinson's YouTube channel and the link to that video, a brief statement about his health if you want more details. Heading back over to Reddit, we have another protocol related question in our top 10 or protocol related comment on Orboros. Any message transmitted by an honest party at the beginning of the slot will be received by any other honest party by the end of that slot. It's a little bit of a complex title, but it talks about the 20 second time requirement for messages to transit the network. Now, the user here is quite advanced, user Re Zalen, and they go on to describe that they're reading the Ouroboros paper and go into details about that paper. The user gets a response from Sebastian describing the model. What I recommend you do is check out the latest papers at IOHK's research. And let me jump over there real quick to show you what I'm talking about. But you have a brief description here from Sebastian which would probably be very helpful if you just want a quick summary of what this post is talking about. I'm going to pull up IOHK's page briefly and go to research, IOHK papers. Here you will find links to many of the papers. And I believe a lot of these should be the latest information in the IOHK papers list and in the IOHK library. Heading back over to Reddit. I just want to familiarize you with where that's at in case you want more information. Interesting that we had two protocol level questions make it to the top 10. That's how Cardano rolls. Number nine of 10, also from Reddit user CryptoVisor. This is CryptoVisor's second video that has made the top 10. This guy is a very prolific video maker 
and puts out a lot of information at a very rapid pace. And in this video, goes on to describe the information about Algos. And Algos is a liquidity provider who is, Cardano is partnering with Algos to work on liquidity and monitoring the exchanges and trying to get the best, how do you say, the mo most accurate levels of trading so you don't have watch trading and bots doing all the trading. Yeah. Number 10 is we have Cardano's fighting market manipulation. Now this number 10 is directly related to number nine, the article from CryptoVisor. Here we have a post from Ichimoku M. This is also related to the article from Algos. So I'm going to select the link here. And notice uh, people get interested in a lot of the same items. And here Cardano is fighting market manipulation by exchanges where other coins follow. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here where there's a description and it says, so what's in it for Cardano? And here it says the end game for Cardano is that ADA that the ADA coin achieves genuine liquidity and price stability of the kind seen in legitimate, in legitimate BTC markets. This will put ADA on a level playing field with BTC and major alts. Therefore, ADA has the opportunity of attracting the same kind of institutional investment that's currently pouring into the BTC markets. So it goes on to describe, you know, what's in it for Cardano. And a funny comment here that I thought was near the top, top voted comment from Todd McChubbs takes a quote from the article and says, ADA is a major alt. If being in the top 10 does not grant you that, I don't know what does. Um, ADA is at number 12 now, but it bounces in and out of the top 10. But I'm pretty sure the majority of the cryptocurrency community considers ADA a major alt and Cardano a very strong contender. So that covers our Reddit top 10. Other interesting articles in here, Cardano Foundation coming up to the spot conference in Hong Kong, July 29th. And breaking, bootstrapping the Jormungander in 60 seconds. Me personally, I've, I've bootstrapped Jormungander in just over five minutes. And I did a from scratch video that took 34 minutes with a menu install. And continue, there's other articles where Cardano rele releases Ouroboros Kronos, which we touched on up there in the top 10. So that covers the top 10 for this week, plus a few additional ones. If you would like to leave me some feedback on doing the Reddit top 10, please let me know down in the comments below. And thanks for watching Digital Fortress. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.